See, I got a triplet. You got a triplet. There you go. <laughs> That's for you, man. Thank you. Wonderful. And we're going to use this yeah. now for our lunch. Good lunch. Even in India, though India is an agricultural country, city children and others have never been on a farm. Yeah, yeah. They think food comes on the app. <laughs> when I was in farming, I used to get truckloads of waste from the shrimp factories, the shrimp shells. Oh, it would do miracles to me. Another thing is from Mysore Zoo. It's a complex mix of all animal uh, wastage. If you dig inside, actually fire will be burning because of ammonia and methane. So, I used to get truckloads of that and put nobody would know where from where I got my manure. But my coconuts and mangoes were like, boom. <laughs> but it's interesting with the shrimp shells. In India, in the coastal region, there are lots of factories. So, usually they just dump it somewhere. So, I used to like uh, almost uh, 360 kilometers to my farm. But I used to pick it up and bring because you can press it and load it in the truck, the volume. Do you use shrimp shells? No, we use only the fish uh, Okay, but maybe... It's all the same. Yeah. Yeah. If there are shrimp factories you okay. can use, do you have? We have a oh, yeah. shrimp farm and we have a, a processing mm. facility. In the so processing unit that waste. We will get down here, we'll try to walk by the shade. Yes. Just a short walk and then explain what we're doing and then we head back to a greenhouse okay. where it's cold. Oh, you're growing this. What do you call this here? Uh, I mean, how do you use it here in Arabia? For fragrance. Mm -hmm. Here what we try to do is grow a large variety of crops. Mm -hmm. What we're trying to do is keep insect populations down naturally and reduce the use of, you know, uh, not use any chemical uh, pesticide. You must have a few chicken, they'll eat up all the insects. We have a lot of chicken, yeah. Yeah, we loose? Have we have 15,000. No, no, because they will destroy a lot of this uh, <laughs> lettuces, you know these kind of leafies. Mm. But under trees, it's a blessing. So where they are, we are growing some uh, mm. uh, pond dates as well. They clean up everything. And then I have to the Yeah. Okay. So we keep bees, of course, everywhere here. Mm -hmm. One of the key, of course, you are seeing it looks sand. It is sand. Five years ago, it was the same dunes, not even flat. Mm. So this was all dunes. Uh, engineer here, they came here, I think, six months to flatten. Yeah, more. Six, yeah. Uh, six yeah. We, we we work here to make it flat. Six months. From, yeah, around six. to make uh, mm -hmm. the sand is level. The desert. And you know, this is proof your compound, your safe, yes, safe soil. Yes, This sir. is proof very that much. from desert, yes. we can generate very good high quality product and from organic only, no chemical. Mm -hmm. This is a. Uh, People before say 30 years when you talk, no chemical, nobody believes me. If there is enough sunlight, everything else you can create. Sunlight is one thing you cannot create. If there is sunlight, creating necessary moisture, creating the soil and making it into rich, rich agricultural soil is just a certain level of commitment. It'll take some time, you need to have that resilience to hang on. So this is five years. We convert well, five sand years, it's to too good. Uh, rich soil. Now, we have a very good organic soil, ready to, every year it's increasing the value. And I feel, I told uh, Her Excellency, that you, your, your uh, target, we did it here already. We use the organic matter to uh, create agriculture soil, very fertile, without... So one important thing, sir, one important thing that needs to see, you're bringing organic content from other poultry farms and uh, cow, cow farms or whatever you call them, dairy farms. The important thing is, as a model, you must set up... See, uh, what are those tall trees? What's that? What are the tall trees there? Those are neem also. Neem. No, those are neem? Yeah. So tall? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, neem is one thing, but neem is a slow-growing tree. There are fast-growing trees if you plant like that. Yeah. You can prune them in the right season and fertilize the soil directly. You don't have to take it to the factory, nothing. One thing is it cools the earth. 
it protects the earth and slowly it becomes manure over a period of time. If you create eight, nine inches of humus like that, after that you don't have to do anything with soil, no plowing, nothing, you can just put the seed, it'll bounce back. No tilling. No, no tilling, just a furrow you can make. So this is uh, what we want to do, of course. But I'm saying uh, the organic content should be both uh, plant life and animal life, Trump, organic yeah. content, if it is here... So we're getting like 200 sheep now, we have already 10,000 chickens. Mm. So we, we, okay. we are using, recirculating as much That's as possible. Good. We're looking at... Little more plant life, you know. Yeah. See, one thing is, suppose you grow, let's say, one 10 acres of... Yeah. I don't know what's acreage. Yeah. 10 acres of just maize. When it yeah. comes up this much, yeah. take it, chop it into bits and spread it. This Okay, yeah. So what we're talking now is the green mulching. Every time oh, we harvest something... Don't step we on are, it. We uh, are, we can see a little bit. We can walk uh, a bit down. Yeah. We can continue the walk. This we removed all the, the harvest already, but you can see the type of soil. This is all the result of green mulching, adding uh, manures uh, and continuous cr crop rotation, trying to do healthy crop rotation. We use also the sun here as solarization method. Can I, can I invite you to harvest some yeah. carrot? <laughs> see, you try the fresh I carrot. already ate my carrot, huh? See, I got a triplet. You got a triplet. There you go. <laughs> That's for you, man. Thank you. <laughs> oh yeah, ma'am, you want to hold it for the picture? We we did this together. Yeah. We harvested this together. Wonderful. <laughs> And we're going to use this yeah. now for our lunch. For the lunch. Okay, that's good. Thank you. So, so in the, within, as you mentioned, within a few years, we don't need to add anything. No. We shall have very rich soil, completed with a humic acid, with amino acid, everything is available in the soil. So this is, we make it from nature. And the great thing here, that we don't use any NPK or any chemical fertilizer, and we have a high production level comparing with the conventional. Mm. So people say organic uh, uh, agriculture is very low income. So the production is uh, like 30% of conventional. We prove in this farm, if we bring good fertilizer... No, no, that is, uh, that is being said. That is being said for the way the land is right now. Yeah. If you take away chemicals, definitely the production will drop. Anything. Yeah, yeah but the you have to get this to minimum three to six percent. Then only you can do organic. Yeah. If we are in our farms, you've gotten it to eight to twelve percent. So once it is like that, our irrigation requirement is so low. Yeah. If you irrigate once after twenty days, if you dig and see, it's still wet because uh, the organic content is so high and the activity, yeah. microbial activity, is so high. Uh, I'm saying uh, you have a big challenge. We don't have this kind of a challenge. Our soil is like, you know, if you give it one little finger, it'll just come back. Uh, this is a lot of work, but it's wonderful demo of... Uh, in, the, in the winter here also, you don't see uh, any empty area. Usually it's completely covered in greenery, mm -hmm. protected. So in the summer, we use this as a solarization. See, there are certain uh, types of uh, grass seeds, and certain things which you can feed it to your sheep and in a contained way, you keep them here for tonight. Yes, and they will drop it. All through the droppings, the seed will come. It will all grow in no time. If you do that two, three times, land is taken care of. But you know, this is great sometime problem because this type of virgin, organic animal, have the diseases. And when we start the country here, before 30 years, we bring from Pakistan every year 400,000 ton we don't, because we don't have any source of organ. So many diseases coming from animal disease. No, from no, different no, 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 no. Yeah. You must generate organic content in yeah. your own thing. What we have done in Tamil Nadu is, for the last 27 years, I've been advising farmers to make 10% of their land into trees which will generate organic content for the remaining 90%. Yes. With that, these, these kind of infestations will not happen. Yes. You bring it from Pakistan, especially from the, uh, you know, slaughterhouses or before slaughter, these animals, they are in a different condition. But now, thanks God, we have all the uh, required uh, organ uh, sources mm -hmm. from Baltimore. Enough. We have a That's lot very of good. Project. Mm -hmm. 
Poultry manure is very, very strong.